Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we're going to be showing off the new Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, which Do uh, not Dokkan, he transforms, if it loads, if he transforms into, you know what, I'm just gonna, <laughs> he transforms into the Mad Vegeta. Um, this Goku, I already heard the, recorded the Goku video, should be up before this. If you saw it, go watch, you know, yeah, and this Vegeta is pretty dang good, um, He's pretty damn good. I really enjoy him. I feel like he's a great partner next to the STR Majo Vegeta because the STR Majo Vegeta may not have prepared for ba fierce battle, but he does create um Miracle Key Spheres. So this S the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, uh, he's definitely not going to be putting as high like attack stats, especially post transformed, like as the you know Goku unit. Um, but I feel like a lot of the things he does is intangible, like things that you won't like really see from like attack stats and stuff. Um, 2.4 million. The, the good thing about Vegeta is that I feel like the Vegeta family category is honestly kind of better than the Goku family category now. Um, the Goku family category has more options, but it's just like the Vegeta family category a lot better. Especially because of the Trunks and Vegeta Gallic gun units. Like, they're insane. <laughs> they're like so good. They work as supports, but at the same time, they are just super good on their own. So that's why, like, it's super, like, it's... They're very good to run on the team, so that's why, like, <clears throat> anytime I run any this category, anytime these two could be on a team, I run them. 100%, they're, like, always staples. They're so good, and, you know, the fact that they're so old, too, like, I do like them. But this is the Vegeta showcase. Let's get back onto Vegeta. So, uh, I think the other Vegeta changes AGL orbs. I think I won't transform next turn. Um, because, yeah, because of that, <laughs> I'm gonna do a lot of damage this turn. Uh, yeah, getting additional stew. Can you not? I, I, there was a chance, but now all the, that chance is gone. 100%. Um, yeah, I actually finally got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta for the first time. Uh, when I was summoning for this Majo Vegeta, so uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was pretty good. I it was like probably my, it's probably my favorite summoning video so far on the channel because it's actually on my account and I bought the stones, so you know it's not like a reboot account that I usually do. And yeah, he does change those type of orbs. I don't really need. Oh wait, I messed up really badly. Uh, I have to do this then. Eh, that's not that's not that big of a deal. I could just always bring him around. And then you show off his super attack, you know, and stuff. Um, so Majo Vegeta's defense doesn't really get super, super high until... Well, no, the thing is that Majo Vegeta raises his defense on super attack um, for one turn. And then along with that, uh, he gets defense plus 30% when he's attacking because of the three orbs. So, like, his defense is, like, pretty high. That's the thing. I feel like his defense is on par with Goku's. But most of the time, he will, like, do more damage, technically. Um... I feel like the only time Goku will do more damage is when he's Super Saiyan 3 and he's low on health and along with that he got 6 orbs. That's like the only time the Goku will hit harder than the Vegeta and probably be... The Goku is better than Vegeta when they're both transformed all the way but Goku is on low health um, and has 6 orbs. So that's a lot for the Goku while Vegeta is just... I feel like he's flat out better because he has like... He still has that guard ability and everything. Like, the Vegeta does so much. It's crazy how, like, good he really is. Um, I feel like people are underselling him compared to the Goku. And yes, I am finally... I'm gonna be able to get those... Uh, wait. I might kill him. No, well, not kill him. I'm gonna do so much damage. <laughs> yeah, uh, this Vegeta family team is very good. Yeah. No, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is gonna do too much. Look at that. Yep. I wish I could have missed supers. No. No. Buhan, no. No. Damn it. <laughs> Dang it. No. Oh my gosh. She's. Okay. No, it's fine. I don't need to transform to show him off and be good. You know what? He could be good on his own. Um, We don't need anything. We don't need like freaking Maj Vegeta to come out. He's good on his own. I forgot to show his defense and I'm severely disappointed in myself. I could have still gotten Maj Vegeta actually. Oh, uh, who look at that number 2.6 million. It's not even transformed although untransformed No, when Majo Vegeta transforms Technically he gets like a lower attack stat because he doesn't get that extra like 30% when he gets the orbs and That kind of multiplies against each other. So like 
He hits technically not as hard when he's much Vegeta, but if you get the six, if you get the three orbs, he is always super effective. So that's like Super Gogeta. So that does like in, like inflict infect on his damage. Um, I'm trying to find the what word to say there. That does like show in his damage that he's actually performed. It doesn't show in his attacks, that, however, which is why I like. Oh, that's weird. Which is why I like. Uh, Goku like consistently puts out higher numbers, 100%. Well, I'm actually gonna get Blue Vegeta this turn, huh? Well, not this turn, but next time, huh? Uh, luckily I have Over and Flash here. <sighs> Look at all these orbs I can get. Um, I'm gonna just give you all these orbs. I'm not gonna get Majin Vegeta anyways. Well, I might still get Majin Vegeta. Hold up. Dang, I wish I didn't give all those orbs now. Um, that was a mistake on my part. No wait, no, I'm still, I'm still not gonna get it. Because I already got rid of them um, to uh, health bars, so yeah, with that either. <laughs> yeah, uh, how 2.3 million? This this is Vegeta transforming Vegeta is still very good. I I really do like him so much. Um, he's easily better than the Goku and Frieza unit. Oh wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Um, so Majin Vegeta is on lower HP here. He won't do as much attack numbers, but yeah, his defense is already 100k. Man, I really do like this Vegeta unit so much, even just untransformed. I transformed, he's definitely the best, like the second best T R in the game. Look at that, he's still putting 2.5 million. It's because on so many of his teams, he has his trunks and this freaking like <laughs> he has a trunks and Gallic Gun Vegeta on like so many of his teams. And it's insane because they're so good too. I don't know man, it's just really hard for me to really like fully decide who I like better uh, between Vegeta and Cooler. Uh, I do really like Cooler a lot too, like, but I don't know. Mm. Um, but yeah, after like doing more so of all this, I honestly do feel like, like no joking around, I feel like Cooler is 100% better. Um, like, I, I'm looking at the initial details, like I really, really liked uh, this Vegeta. But you know, Cooler is just, Cooler, does so much against so much of the game, but that's the thing. Vegeta does. Vegeta does what he does against every single like unit in the game. It doesn't matter who they are. Um, he just does it against every single unit. Cooler does like only really do what he does against Pierce against Saints in general. Which you know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. A lot of Saints are a lot in the game a lot, but look at this. In this fight, um, there was only like for example here, there's only two Saint bosses. Like, even, even in the Gogeta one, like, the last two phases aren't even Saiyans. Um, you know, you have to think about that. Like, there are, uh, there are still a lot of, like, non-Saiyan, you know, <clears throat> units in the game and fights and stuff. Um, so, I don't know, people don't really, I, I'm not saying they don't, they don't really think about it. And this Vegeta does not have fierce, fierce battle here, so, you know, you have to keep it in mind with that. Uh, he's gonna get a Dogen attack, though. Eh, yeah, I want to get the token attack because I want to see his attack stat. I'm only going to click the first one though because I'm just going to demolish him either way. I think it's easier to stay in higher HP, especially in these like Dokkan events and stuff, uh, than in this lower HP. Yeah, 2.1 million. Done no pierce battle. <clears throat> Over 2 million with that, with like. <sighs> Goku hit like 2 million um, when he's already like somewhat lower in HP. Uh, and he had first battle active. But did it like doing 2 million without first battle? That's just very impressive. And. Actually, we won't get Maj Vegeta because, well, unless I can avoid supers, which no, I cannot avoid supers, so I might as well just finish them off because the next fight has like a bunch of enemies. So I guess this is like really showing off Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta a lot. Um, it's not a bad thing though. A lot of the times you are going to see the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. This is what I mean by like getting bad luck, kind of. Um, like in the Goku video, I talked about how. Sometimes you just won't see the transformations and, you know, it just depends on how lucky you get. I got the Vegeta in the second rotation. So, you know, if Vegeta was in the, f like, first rotation, he would, like, be able to get transform a lot. Um, but since he was in the second rotation, as you see, it is bad luck and he's not transforming at all. Um, I do like him with this Majin Vegeta, though, because this Majin Vegeta gives him so many orbs. That's enough for a super. Um, do I need to use an item here? Let me look at his defense. Yeah, the thing that sucks is that his defense is like the greatest until he super attacks. Um, 
Uh, nah, if I die, oh well, I don't care. I'll just hop back in and then show off my Andrew Vegeta against the Buhan event. Um, I'm confident that I'll survive though. Uh, even if he supers me right here. The only thing that I made a mistake with is attacking the Int Cooler right here. So I have to get that 5 crit if I want to like actually do damage. And no. Well, that is still a pretty good amount of damage. Oh, that's the Int Cooler. Oh god, that's going to hit really hard. Oh no, only 130k, huh? Yeah, but they're all lowering his defense. Like pricks. Oh gosh. Um, ouch. Oh, whew. Look at that da- uh, He's tanking so well here, jeez. I mean, it's a Dokkan event, but you know, lowering defense could make you take a lot of damage, as you saw right there. I mean, I did have tap advantage, but still, you know. Like, I've seen that cooler hit, like, a over 100k. Like, this video is so good, man. And he was at full HP, so it wasn't even, like, close to how good he could be defensively. So, like, next turn, we're gonna see him defensively, like, orientated, because I'm not gonna be at full HP, of course. Um... I'm actually going to take you out with the active skill right here because I want to basically like finish off this turn right here. I might as well, I might just use both active skills. Plus, I don't really, I haven't really used his Vegeta active skill much before. Ooh, 3 5 crit. Pretty good. Uh, let's take you out as well. Ooh, oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, might as well just take you out. Uh, yeah, this Majin Vegeta already is. I feel like he's already showing off a lot better than the Goku is. Like, he's he's at the same, like, defensive levels as the Goku, but he's hitting, like, as hard. Like, I'm talking about just Super Saiyan 2 Goku, um, because I can't really compare him to Super Saiyan 3 Goku, because, obviously, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is, like, better than Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, but I have to wait to get Majin Vegeta if he ever just... I'll get Majin Vegeta next turn, actually. Um, that's gonna be very interesting. He's gonna be... I'm gonna be at, like, middle of my HP. So, yeah, I'll get Majin Vegeta next turn. He has type advantage and everything. Oof, and I'm going to get a lot of orbs for him because of the SDR Majin Vegeta. And I'm going to have support, I think. I think the Tech Vegeta will be there. So, it'll cover up for not having first battle. Yeah, there it is. I love this animation, too. He's like, Grrr! Grrr! And he's like, my pride. And the LR Majin Vegeta thing. Um, yeah. And then now he has over the flash. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Does it get more links from being little? Nope. Okay, good. And as you see, well, you can't really see right here. Um, I should probably heal up because uh, he. I don't think anything's changed when he heals up. Is it, uh, his defense is lowered. Oh, no. No. Why'd you do this? Oh, I'm really sad now. Wait. I think I think that Roos. Nope. Why? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Okay, that's weird. Uh, for a second, I was like, did he lose a... No, he didn't lose a figure skill. Uh, that's so upsetting, because he had his defense lowered. Are you serious? He's going to raise his defense again. 1.4 million. Yeah, see, he doesn't really hit us hard. He doesn't have first battle here, but you know. He doesn't hit us hard. Plus, he's on lower HP. But after this, he should tank nothing. Yeah. Oh, he had his defense lowered. I feel so upset. I feel so cheated. <laughs> Dang it, this meta cooler boss is, uh, and I'm probably going to uh, take a lot of damage here, actually. Um, he doesn't lower defense here, but, you know, it still does, like, a decent amount of damage. Yeah, 93 k Well, I feel like if I miss supers next turn, I should be fine, but I do have that tech blue Vegeta. God damn it, man. <laughs> uh, this is why showcases can just be stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I might as well finish Moth next turn. Um, because I'm going to get auto supers. So, like, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I actually will be able to get Magic Vegeta against a tech, against an int opponent, though. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to keep him with LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, though, because I want to show off, like... My, Vegeta does have, like, a lot of, like, key sufficient units on his teams. But, at the same time... There are times where you won't get all the six keys, so I want to show him off doing that. Um, again, I'm only going to go up on this event. I'm not really going to go any farther. I feel like uh, I don't want to take too much time on the video, you know. But, look, this is what this uh, Astero Majin Vegeta... Oh, boy. Yeah, this Astero Majin Vegeta is so good. I should have... Yeah, I'm going to heal a full, actually, again. Because I kind of want to get... 
I, I think he, we all know how good he is defensively. Uh, we'll see more of that when I take him into, um, <clears throat> I might take Majin Vegeta into the Legendary Goku event. I don't know. If, I think I could take, do that in one video, uh, Majin Vegeta and Goku in the LG. Um, but I'm going to do separate videos for them on Super Battle Road. So we can see like how nasty they could be in Super Battle Road. I feel like they're still very good units in SBR. Um, yeah, look at that. Well, that's a dope kind of bit. <laughs> I feel like they're very, still very nasty units in Super Battle Road, but you know, um, they're not going to be as good as they are in the Legendary Goku event, to be honest. It's like, it's weird. It's like the Super Saiyan 3 and Majin Vegeta states are built for Super Battle Road, in my opinion. But at the same time, you can't really transform into that form in Super Battle Road. So I feel like it's a bad design, honestly, overall. Like, I like I like the units, but it's just not designed well as it could have been. Um, because like you want to only be facing one opponent, but in Super Battle Road, of course you face multiple enemies, and then he has to be above eighty percent HP. And in Super Battle Road, you kind of do want to target multiple enemies at once. So unless you're facing like three or more opponents, um, I feel like it will be unless you just target one guy. Until he dies and keep the other guy alive and like unstunned or anything, which is not definitely not smart at all. Um, I feel like it can be rough getting them transformed, like overthinking it. I'm like, why? No, no, uh, so annoying. I just want to get Majin Vegeta. Are you serious? And I can't even get a super attack with him. Great, uh, you know what? It's fine because, um, if I one shot the next phase. I can get the active skill too, and then one shot the next phase, and then I'll heal the fool, I'll have the trunks on rotation. That actually is going to be perfect. All I have to do is get lucky with the orbs, um, which can be a little troublesome sometimes, but it is what it is. Uh, I still feel like even, like, it's because his guard ability is so effective. Um, yeah, definitely with this guy right here. Oof, look at it. I don't even, look, this is going to be disgusting. Um, this active skill is super good, man. Uh, I just... I like it a lot. I feel like it definitely is the best part of the Super Saiyan 4 is 100%. That's why they're still so good to this day. Uh, especially. Like, they're good as units, for sure. But the Active Skull just takes them to a whole nother level. I'm going to give all these to Vegeta. Because he's... I'm going to still get that. And, uh... Sure, sure I'll give you these. Now that there wasn't even up to Super F. I should finish them off with just this Vegeta right here, honestly. 2.3 million. No support. Yeah. I got a board full of orbs still, but, you know... <laughs> okay, it's the time of the hour. Majin Vegeta, where we barely got to show you off at all. Let's go. I didn't did I even heal. I don't even think I needed to heal, honestly. It should be at, like, full health anyways. Almost. Uh, More or less, you know, basically. Ye can I get all... No. I can only get three orbs. Um, It is what it is, but... I'm fine with only getting three orbs. Let's check out his defensive stat with support on rotation. 100k. And then he will super and raise his defense again. Um, which is a greatly raising of defense. Which is very good. And he's aiming on low HP. So yeah, I like this Majin Vegeta unit a lot. Especially considering that he can't get that guard ability active. Um, this is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, 2.2 million. I am impressed. <laughs> mm, I don't know. It's like... I didn't really do, I couldn't really get Majin Vegeta to show off very well, but, um, I think this right here alone is gonna show off, like, how good he really is at 55%, because he's gonna, he's not gonna be gonna take much from here, even without guarding. Yeah, without guarding, he still only took 35k. <laughs> um, like, this Rosé isn't really, like, a hard hitter or anything, but it's still very nice. Um, man, I do want to show him against Broly, but I think, I think, I think it's good how it is right now. So yeah, um, this is 55% Majin Vegeta. His showcase definitely, I don't think it was as good as the Goku's, honestly. Um, but I still think it was a good showcase, nonetheless. Um, he did what he had to do. The thing is that this Majin Vegeta, he doesn't really, he's not really a unit that shows off. Like, he does intangible things. Like, the guard reduces damage. So, you won't really, 
see that you won't you can't look at his defensive stat and say okay so that's how he's gonna tank because when he gets the guard ability active you know he reduces damage and stuff like that so he's not gonna take as much damage as his defensive stat would say same with his attack stat he gets super effectiveness against all types which you know is like a multiplier when he's actually attacking so it's gonna affect on the damage output not his attack stat so it's just really insane like gojita and jenna in one unit and then, you know, he's a saint. <laughs> uh, and look at all those category teams, man. Like, like, okay, that's a lot. That's less than I thought it was. But, you know, six category teams is still very insane. He would have been a transformation boost, but they took him off. Which, you know, I don't think he should have been a transformation boost anyways. Because um, it's not like he's really transforming. He's just getting uh, the Majin, you know, uh, possession. I do like his uh, untransform art better, though. Uh, I just like the lightning effect on his fist. That's very nice. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe if you did. Um, you know, tell me what you think about these units in the comments. Tell me if I'm just like freaking crazy and they're not as good as like this guy is not as good as I think he is. Um, I feel like people are definitely like underrating him. But who knows? Maybe I'm overrating him. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you all next time.